Welcome back to Iraqi Dinar News, your trusted source for the latest developments surrounding the Iraqi Dinar, economic reforms, and major political updates in Iraq. Today's news is groundbreaking. The much-anticipated hydrocarbon law, HCL, is finally completed and salaries for public sector employees are expected to be released this Sunday. But with a big national holiday on the same day, it remains to be seen how this will play out. Stick with me to dive into these crucial updates, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more breaking news. Let's get started. Historic meeting between Baghdad and Erbil. In a major development, a significant meeting took place between representatives from Baghdad and Erbil. This gathering has been hailed as a historic moment in Iraq's ongoing efforts to solidify political and economic stability. The central focus of the talks the long-awaited implementation of the Hydrocarbon Law, HCL. This meeting resulted in a monumental agreement that will pave the way for resolving one of Iraq's most pressing economic and political challenges, the distribution of oil revenues between the Kurdistan Regional Government, KRG, and Iraq's federal government. The agreement was monumental because it effectively finalized the long-delayed HCL, a critical law for Iraq's oil-rich economy. More importantly, they announced that public sector employee salaries, particularly those in the Kurdistan region, will be equalized with their federal counterparts. This breakthrough has been in the making for years, and it promises to address salary imbalances that have long been a source of tension. The importance of the hydrocarbon law. The hydrocarbon law is not just a piece of legislation. It's a cornerstone of Iraq's economy. Iraq is one of the world's leading oil producers and oil accounts for over 90% of the country's revenue. The HCL is designed to regulate the management and distribution of oil and gas resources, ensuring a fair allocation of revenues between the federal government and the Kurdistan region. However, the law has been stuck in limbo for years due to disagreements between Baghdad and Erbil over key provisions. The Kurdistan region has long accused the federal government of withholding its fair share of oil revenues, while Baghdad has often charged the KRG with mismanaging its oil output and revenue streams. This historic agreement changes all of that. With the HCL now ready to be implemented, Iraq can look forward to greater transparency in how oil revenues are managed. This transparency will not only help build trust between the KRG and the federal government, but will also ensure that oil revenues are distributed fairly and used to fund crucial public services and infrastructure projects. It's a game-changer for Iraq's oil-dependent economy and its long-term stability. Pay equity achieved. A major milestone. One of the most significant outcomes of the meeting is the announcement of salary equalization. For years, Public sector employees in the Kurdistan region have earned less than their counterparts in Baghdad. This pay disparity has fueled resentment and deepened political divisions. Now, with the commitment to equalize salaries across the board, the Iraqi government is addressing these long-standing grievances. This move is expected to improve the morale of public sector workers in the Kurdistan region who have long felt marginalized. By bringing salaries in line with those of federal employees, the government is fostering a sense of unity and fairness that is critical to maintaining political and social stability. This announcement is being celebrated as a major achievement and is seen as a step toward healing the strained relationship between Erbil and Baghdad. Will salaries be released this Sunday? While the salary equalization announcement is undoubtedly great news, it comes with a caveat. Sunday, the day salaries are set to be released, coincides with a major national holiday. In many countries, holidays can delay financial operations and administrative procedures. This raises questions about whether the salaries will actually be dispersed on time or if there could be delays. Nevertheless, the government has assured the public that everything is in place for the salary releases to happen as planned. Employees and stakeholders will be closely monitoring the situation to see if the changes materialize as expected. Given the importance of the announcement and the high level of anticipation, any delay could cause frustration, but optimism remains high that everything will go smoothly. What the HCL means for Iraq's future The completion of the hydrocarbon law has far-reaching implications for Iraq's economic and political future. With the law now set for implementation, the country can expect a host of benefits that will promote long-term stability and growth. Increased transparency 
One of the major benefits of the HCL is that it introduces a clearer framework for how oil revenues are managed and distributed. This increased transparency will build trust between the federal government and the KRG, while also reassuring the public that oil revenues are being used effectively. Improved Resource Management The HCL provides guidelines for the efficient management of Iraq's vast oil and gas resources. By adhering to these guidelines, Iraq can improve its resource extraction and production processes, leading to more sustainable and profitable operations in the long run. Strengthen relations between Baghdad and Erbil. The resolution of the HCL dispute is likely to improve relations between the KRG and the federal government. By addressing one of the primary sources of conflict, both sides can focus on other areas of cooperation and development, leading to a more stable and united Iraq. Economic stability. The implementation of the HCL is a significant step toward economic stability. With a more structured approach to revenue distribution and resource management, Iraq can work toward reducing its economic uncertainties and fostering long-term growth. Broader political and economic implications. The agreement between Baghdad and Erbil, along with the anticipated release of salaries, carries broader implications for Iraq's political and economic landscape. Resolving long-standing disputes like the HCL can contribute to greater political stability by eliminating key sources of tension. This newfound stability will allow Iraq to focus on implementing its broader economic reform agenda, which aims to modernize its systems, promote transparency, and ensure fair resource distribution. In addition, this momentous development will likely boost public confidence in the government's ability to address critical issues. As public confidence grows, so too will social cohesion and support for ongoing reforms. This is a positive sign for Iraq as it continues its journey toward recovery and growth following years of political turmoil and economic hardship. Thank you for tuning in to Iraqi Dinar News. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this story and other breaking news. With the HCL finalized and salaries expected to be released soon, Iraq is entering a new chapter of stability and growth. Let's stay optimistic and see how this historic moment unfolds.